All righty, greetings. I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm showing you an expansion for a game we just recently covered, Deck of Wonders. This is Deck of Wonders, the Master of Dungeons. I'm going to show you the tabletop simulator demo, kind of explain to you what it adds, maybe play through a game and see if they get, if they come up. You'll see what I mean after the break. All right, here we are back with that tabletop simulator. I'm going to let you know right now, I am not very good at tabletop simulator. I'm still kind of learning it. This is my first foray into it. So first off, let's welcome to, to the demo. This is the uh, reprint of Deck of Wonders and its first expansion. If you're wondering about Deck of Wonders, you can see my thoughts and kind of how it plays. I'll put a link up here in the video. So let's see, this is a small slice of content in the game and expansion, but hope it'll intrigue you. So if you know how to play, then we can start playing. The expansion materials are already added to the deck. The two differences you need to be aware of from Harbinger's rules cards are hidden entrance. During the first battle lines phase, you may exhaust one villain minion. Living dungeon. When you draw a dungeon card, choose one side to place under Harbinger. Resolve its effects and draw one. Place each subsequent dungeon card over the unused side of the one before it forming your own living dungeon of rewards and consequences. Spending the gold you earn isn't included in this demo, but suffice to say more gold is always better. See if you can earn all five gold in one game. So here's a couple links for that as well. So let's just come over here really quick. See, told you I'm not very good at this. And let's zoom in on the expansion content. So here, let's go look up here at Harbinger first. So this is a new villain. During setup, place Harbinger in the rules area and shuffle four dungeon cards into your deck, which are what those are. Then you have your hidden entrance, which they explained, living dungeon, which they explained, and Delver's bounty. At the end of the game, add up the gold on all dungeon cards below. You may spend that much gold to unlock new dungeon cards. So if you look at these dungeon cards, so you have a top side and a bottom side. So when you draw it, you get to choose which side. So, and then you'll draw an additional card. So this one is discard all dungeon cards after this one without resolving their effects. Draw another card in their place, and that gives you plus one gold. Or you may only spend gold at the end of the game if you win, plus two gold. Next up, Suspicious Door. The next time the villain draws a spell, ignore all text except draw effects, or deal three damage and get a gold. There's two gold, three gold, four gold, five gold. This one, you may not play cards during the next player turn. Restore five health to the player. Draw two cards instead of one. Or exhaust all player minions plus one gold. Next one is you may not play minions with priority one or two plus one gold. You may ignore priority during the battle lines phase. The next player minion destroyed is moved to the villain's side exhausted. So... You are going to, we, I know, this is madness. All right, so we're going to take these, stack them up, pick it up, flip it over, put it on top of that stack, and then shuffle, give it a couple of quick shuffles. There we go. So now we are going to zoom over. So now we're going to play the game. So we'll draw a card. We'll draw our four, one, two, three, and four. Well, that's not good. I only got one critter. Put it out. There we go. So we have stuff to possibly discard. So let's just put that there and that there. So now we'll start the villain's turn. They draw the first one. Lightning strike. Destroy the highest priority player minion. Well, I just have the one, so we'll just pop that there. Regeneration, so now they get that, but exhausted on their side, and then draw one. Oop, that's tapping it, there we go. So there is nothing, so that's fine. And now for their third card, we, so we do get a treasure. So now I get to choose where I wanna go. Discard all dungeon cards after this one without, without resolving their effects. Draw another card in their place. Uh, I think we're going to grab this one. 
So we'll twirl that around this way. And then, see I told you that. So then we'll bring it up here, done. And, but then it's a draw one. So we flip, so then they get a pixie mesmerizer. Now it is the first battle lines phase, so I can actually exhaust one of theirs. The wolf is already exhausted from the regeneration. So I exhaust that one, and now I have nothing coming at me. So then we resolve the next one. Grab this, flip it over, put it in my hand. Well, we got a gnomish servant, cool, which lets me draw one and flip it. And we're just going to put the hungry wolf out. And then here's the gorilla tactics. If villain has two or more minions in play, draw two. So we are going to do that. So we draw one. We draw two. We'll put the pixie cavalry out as well. Then we're going to play another Guerrilla Warfare, which lets me draw two more. Oh, another treasure card. Uh, you know, we're going to take three damage. Whee! So we'll go like this and just kind of stack it on top of there like so. And take the three damage. And then draw one more from that. And then draw one more because of my guerrilla tactics, so I have those. And yeah, let's put out the reinforced dam. Do, so I can destroy all minions with a one base health, which would destroy this, 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 and this, and leave my pixie cavalry. You know what, sure. Let's just do a mass, mass death. And this way, stack that, stack that, and stack that. Bring this whole stack down. And there we go. And then that would be my turn. And there we go. So I have that left. Cool. So now they draw their card and flip it. And baited trap. Destroy the lowest priority player minion. So reinforced dams a four. Pixie Calvary is a two. So we destroy the Pixie Calvary. So again, that is uh, how you play the game normally. And then these treasures and over here is what is added in the expansion. So if you are interested in checking out more about this expansion, go ahead and check the link down below. I'll include a link to the Kickstarter campaign. I will also include a link to my review of Deck of Wonders in case you didn't click on the link up there. It'll be in the description. And until next time, I am the groom wishing you good luck in the dungeon.